Hey, what's up guys? It's Tony from Tony's Figs. Thanks for checking out this video. Just putting together one for another one of Mark's loadouts at Gridiron Studios. It's the uh, Ultimate Helicopter lo Assault Loadout for Classified Airborne. Any custom action figures you got, Troopers, Army Force, whatever the hell. Um, so here's Airborne. I got him with all his own classified gear. From Hasbro all loaded up comes pretty awesome I got him from CMB store early because uh, I don't really do that too often it's a little bit you know more expensive to get it from there but damn they ship pretty fast and um, I only do that on uh, characters I don't want to wait on he's one of my as you might as you may know he's one of my favorite characters ever you know paratrooper air assault helicopter assault you know, helicopter gunship, gunner, airborne's awesome. It's from Arizona, he's a Navajo, one of my favorite characters, like Ricondo. Um, so here he is, all loaded up in his own loadout, his own with his own accessories from Hasbro. Pretty damn decent, pretty okay. Um, yeah, you know, there he comes. He comes with Duke's, uh, the different colored backpack from Duke sidearm in there the suppressor goes in here like you know it just it attaches to the rifle too i mean it's 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 cool it's gi joe but you know n n no modern weapon does that as, as as far as i know but anyway it's gi joe it's awesome you know hey he's here he is with the uh it's a the demro xf7 wasp rifle and it's really rubbery um this one is supposed to be beachhead's weapon i don't you know they keep rehashing this gun it's it's cool and all for hasbro but it's not what we know airborne supposed to have it's supposed to have the you know m16 with the bayonet like everyone knows they should have gave him the uh he'd have been fine with the the crimson guard uh ar that would have been perfect for him, but whatever. So this XF7 Demro Wasp is out of here. Okay. There you got his backpack. Let me remove this. I'm going to show you just how to load him up with the uh, gridiron accessories that Mark made. Freaking, it levels him up so much more. You know, this ACH the helmet's okay. You know, I, I think I have his goggles somewhere else, but yeah, he comes with, he comes with these. They're pretty cool. His quad nods. These are his, his you know, quad nod. It's his uh, night optical device. His own covered goggles. You guys seen this already. Plug it right in there. There you go. Cool, Hasbro. Now let's level them up with Gridiron's loadout. There's Franklin. Okay, with this, I think there's, what, 12 pieces? What did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven pieces, right? Twelve. We've got another magazine hiding. So 12 pieces all in all. Let's count it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pieces. Whoo! Let's go. Alrighty. What do we do first? Let's see. Let's pick his helmet. This is his helmet from Great Iron. Bam. Very nice. Very detailed. You want it. His goggles are separate. They plug in just like the nods do. Boom. There's Airborne's look. Okay. You got those. Then they give you the nods up. In the up position with the goggle frame.
Then, what's that? Stick these here. Then he gives you the goggles with the nods down. Very nice, slick look. Loving it. Okay. Back to your traditional look with the with the goggles up there. Oops. Let's see. There you go. Now he's ready. His helmet's all ready. Okay. Here's his backpack. Backpack's on the Alice pack. It does have a peg. They haven't switched over all the way to that new system yet. I showed you in the Night Viper loadout. It fits in his back perfectly now he's got a, win a working winch just like the ones that kind of came with uh alpine and hit and run but he's got this little jewelry latch there works just fine pull it out it can hang that sucker from wherever certain helicopter coming in whatever you need and then you just wind it back goes through that hole you can fit it through this hole if you want but i didn't i skipped it i just put it through the big one and then you just wind that sucker up no big deal don't be lazy don't be nasty just kidding okay so you wind them up there's his rope there's his line right Stays right there. Stays out of the way of his pack. Can move it up or down if you want. Um, up and out, I mean. There you go. I like to tighten it up some. It's not hanging. Boom. I like the way they, you know, they have the molded in pineapple grenade. They have his pouches. They have his bedroll. That's a neat touch. His bedroll on this three and three quarter inch um, figure. He had the bedroll wrapped around the top. There it is. Nice throwback look to the old school. So there's his pack. Comes with this blade. It goes right in there. Comes with his tack radio. Fits right in there. This is awesome. Excuse me. This. There's a nice little bonus from Quaid. He showed me that he showed me first over there when I was hanging out with Mark and, and family at Gridiron. His little copper pocket knife. This thing is insane. Folds out. Put in his hand. There's his knife. That little thing is insane. Copper from the copper state of Arizona, baby. Gotta do it that way. His little gridiron studios GS on it. Fold that sucker back up. This is insane. Be careful. Don't lose this. <laughs> Has his own little pouch. Right there. Now. Last but not least, we'll get his AR, you know, M16, the M16 receiver, got a shortened barrel, got a shortened uh, foregrip, got a nice butt on the stock here, got the two different magazines, you got the short magazine, plugs right in, I call this, what, what do they call this, the jungle magazine, jungle strap, jungle tape, where he straps two mags together. That looks crazy. Just extra ammo for Airborne. I'm digging that. Oh, hello a lot. And you get a smaller magazine in there. And then uh, you want to get the knife. And it turns into the bayonet. 
So you guys can see this okay. So that hole over the barrel, just be careful. Feed that sucker too on the barrel, and there you go. Now it's crazy. I noticed, uh, I barely noticed when I was over there with Mark getting this loadout of gridiron and the card art with airborne. He, uh, his, his card art that's uh, from Hector Garrido, it has him holding the rifle with no bayonet on it. And I'm like, well, I thought he always had the bayonet on it. He didn't. But the figure came with one. So, it could happen with it, without it. He looks great. I had to get this one for one of my favorite Joes. And Quaid did a great job on that. The whole thing, really. And then uh, the, the little pocket knife. That's just an extra bonus. This thing can hang him for wherever. Still have his uh, his regular. You could always put another weapon in there. You could swap out his uh, Hasbro weapons for any other, you know, 3D printed place. I put, I'm, I'm going to put a gridiron weapon in there. It's just I wanted to show you for this for these purposes of showing you him and showing the loadout. But man, you want to level <laughs> you want to level up your airborne. This is the way to do it. He looks great. And there you go. Quick little review and how to for airborne and the ultimate helicopter assault loadout from Gridiron. You guys gonna do it? You gonna get it? Think he's good enough with just his Hasbro stuff? It's all up to you, man. But man, you you talk about leveling up your Joes. That's all I do. That's all I do for my Joes and my customs. And I'm always going to Mark and he knows it. I might not buy all the bigger crazy stuff he's got, but he knows I I outfit them all with great iron. So anyways, tell me what you think. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you feel. And the next video coming up I'll drop is, uh, I think, part three of the OG-13. Where I'll be uh, talking about Clutch, Grand Slam, Flash, and Scarlet. See you guys in the next one. I think I'll throw some pictures at the end. But uh, hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate all your support.